Welcome to the August Fat Fiber Sampler Box Preview video. This month our theme is greenery. So we are very green. We are green. It's green, green. glitter. <laughs> we love it being outside and we are enjoying that as much as possible. Right now our weather is very persnickety. It'll be beautiful in the morning and then awful by afternoon. So we thought we would come down here this morning and celebrate greenery. Yeah. Welcome to the August Box Greenery. Full Circle Artworks sent these beautiful um, rovings this month, and these are Cheviot. She titled these, It Ain't Easy Being Green. I like the and, Yeah, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Hermit the Frog. And um, I like all the different greens in here, but I also like that there's this random bright, beautiful, soft blue in there. Mm -hmm. And I like that people have been doing that throughout. There's lots of blues mixed with the greens because it's such yeah. a pretty combination. I do like this green a lot. It's kind of, it's not like a neon, but it's also not. It's it's almost a It's a bright out. green, yeah. Yeah. It's almost like an alphabet there. Hmm. What's it say? <laughs> so this month from Fiber Quirks, we have more of her fairy dust bats. And she does them as roll eggs for samples, but she sells them as bats on her site. Well, I think you can also order them as roll eggs. But this one is Queen Mab. And it's Merino and Angelina. Super rich colors of green. There's dark and there's bright. And then there's all kinds of fun Angelina in there. Can't like really see if that's a silver Angelina. I think it is. So beautiful. I like that there's just streaks of dark and the base of it is the And it's really soft. Dark it's a super fine merino. Oh, so. so it's so <laughs> soft. And you just spin it right from the end and you've got... The start of a gorgeous woolen yarn. Mm -hmm. Spider quirks! This green would go good with that other green, don't you think? Oh, yes. They're not exactly the same green. But they are close. It's very it fluffy. Is. And it's got some sparklage. Sparklage? Allie at the Golden Threads did these amazing blue and green locks for us this month. I love these colors together. They're so beautiful. It looks like... Um, Cri the Caribbean Sea, maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something really rich and beautiful and watery. Yeah, I like that that's a little bit, like, a that's almost a white, but I do like that it's very light. And, and the crimp, the crimp is amazing on yeah. this fiber that she sent us. I like that she had a little bit of blue This is Romney Locks that she did, and it is available in her shop. Romney. 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 Romany. This month, Kitty Minecraft sent these super fun rovings. These are 75% um, BFL and 25% um, carbonized bamboo. So you can see the carbonized bamboo throughout here. And she called this Irish Greens. She Irish said that greens. she went to Ireland earlier this year and she Ooh. noticed that the Emerald Isle is a well-earned nickname. The Irish countryside is decorated in all shades of green you can imagine. The catch is, in order to get to all that green, it has to rain a lot. So the sky was almost always gray, as reflected by the gray streak in the wool. So this is the gray, awesome. gray sky, and then this is all the rich greens that she that. saw in Ireland. That is awesome. The world traveling kitty Minecraft Barbara. What'd she call this guy? Irish greens. This month, Jaeger and Yarn sent us these beautiful little jade-like stitch markers. I really love the green she chose, and I like mm -hmm. that it's kind of a, more of a matte and not just shiny. Yeah, I do like that. I like that there's like a little bit of different colors. Got different color, yeah. And, and these are so like bright. Yeah. I think this would be so pretty on your knitting, like while oh, you're knitting, yeah. just to see these little bright stitch markers. Yeah, they're happy. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Those are pretty. It's like a jade green. That's what we thought too. With yep. leaves. Nice. Jaeger and yarn. This month, Felview Fibers sent us this beautiful rolag. These are called Bursting Buds. In late spring, I came across a beech tree with its leaves bursting out of its rust brown buds. The day was bright and sunny, so the new leaves unfurling were a clean, crisp shade of lime. Mm. And um, these are made with 21 Micron Merino, Moritz Shetland, 
and then a little shimmer of rust colored Tessa silk. These are super soft, <laughs> smooth, and beautiful. Yes. I think my favorite is that little brownish gold color that's running through it. I know, I think it's really beautiful. That's yeah. the silk. It's gorgeous. Roll lag time. Ooh. Bellevue Farbers. Fibers. <laughs> Bellevue Farbers. Hold on, rented lips. It's not easy being green. <laughs> Bellevue fibers. Those are some. I like the coppers. I think they set the greens off nicely. Yeah. This month's zany pilgrimage. Alina sent us these beautiful rovings. These ones she called Fifty Shades of Pantone, the Seduction of Green. Ooh. <laughs> And I love it. I think it's really fun. They're really rich and bright, and I love that little bit of reddish that she puts in there. Such a fun dye, and I think it would be really fun to spin this. And this is 100% wool. Zany pilgrimage. Alina. Alina and her zany pilgrimage has green with a touch of rose. Makes it look like watermelon. Watermelon. This is from Mad Angel Creations, and this month she sent us yarn and fiber again. We decided to highlight the fiber of her um, offering, but it's all the same color. Her yarns are these colors too, so Ooh. beautiful. Yes. And this is kettle dyed, hand blended, merino silk, and she called this greens. She actually, let me correct that, she calls this malachite. Ooh. And I absolutely love it. Super rich colors and soft. Mad Angel Creations made this beautiful dark thing. Dark thing? It's a dark. It is a dark. It's very dark. How dark is it? Very, very dark. I think she called it Malachite. That's darker than Well Digger's ass. <laughs> that won't be in the video. Winemaker Sister this month sent us these gorgeous little stitch markers with different leaves, a little ginkgo leaf and a regular leaf with beautiful bright green beads on them. I think they're so pretty. So do I. I like the... it's like no other color, it's just that color. And it's very shiny. Almost like a lime it. green. Yeah. Can you guess who it's from? What's your psychic power? Winemaker Sister? Oh, good job. It's a beautiful pretty bag. I thought so too. Leaves. So this is from Fairy Tale Wool, and it's called Monet's Garden. It's naturally dyed, and I think it's pretty. I like the little purple in it. I know. I lo <laughs> love the colors that she chose, and it does remind me of a Monet painting. So beautiful. Ooh. This is all naturally dyed merino, romney, mulberry silk, alpaca, and Icelandic wool. Ooh. Yeah. That's my favorite purple, like a lilac light purple. Mm -hmm. Fairy Tale Wool. That's us. Very fibery thing. Yes. Oh look, purple. I like the purple. Or would you call that lavender? Mmm, lavender purple. Looks I like know. a green rocket. <laughs> Jennifer from Story Yarn and Beads sent us these gorgeous little stitch markers, and these are green pearls that are in a diamond shape, with a little pewter flower as one of them, or attached to one of them. I love that. And she always likes to include a quote, and this time the quote is from Robert Jordan in Dragon Reborn. It says, to be green means to stand ready. Story Yarns and Beads made some beautiful stitch markers. Yes. They almost look like green mother of pearl. Mm -hmm. They're actually pearls. <gasps> Freshwater pearls. I like how that light green would offset with a lot of the dark fibers in there. Ooh, yeah. In the box. So this month from Wonderland Fiber... I kind of threw a bunch of my favorite greens together. I had this gorgeous bright green um, alpaca and I took some green domestic wool, I think it's actually Cheviot, and faux cashmere and then super fine merino and then I added in some angelina and this has kind of um, some bright green angelina and just other random angelina in it as well. But I had a lot of fun because green is my favorite color, so I kind of hoard green fibers. Yes. And this month I get to share some. Crystal made this. Of course Crystal made this. I know who Crystal is. I'm not a stupid man. <laughs> I know you made this. <laughs> These 
these are from Laser Cat Cuts, and they are stitch markers. I don't know what size they are because it's probably a medium. Say. All right, I do like them. They're very. They look kind of realistic. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're fun. Cute. They're plastic, so this is an acrylic that they laser cut, and then they put the little shape of the leaf leaf veins on it. I like the leaf veins. Oh, it's the laser cut Catman. He is Catman Do. <laughs> or Catman did. Good thing they're not glass. Good well, thing they're not glass. Etches. Oh, just they're, they're etched. I mean etched. <laughs> Let me fetch the etch. Open the bag and catch. Handmade Hollow sent us this beautiful little bit of fluff. It's and wait, what did she call this one? Sea glass. Oh, that's right. Sea glass. And it does. It has the shimmer and the softness of sea glass and that beautiful kind of aqua color. Yeah, yeah and she puts so in a ton well, of sparkle. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's read the fiber content. Targi, Surrey Alpaca, Shetland, Firestar, Bamboo, Fake Cashmere, Angelina, and Pulled Sari Silk. <laughs> House Hollywood from Handmade Fibers made with sea glass. And sea glass is made of pure sea glass spun by the finest fishtails and combed through catfish fins. <laughs> so this is a star is shorn and the color is called pesto. It's seven inches. Um, uh, no. Right? <laughs> no, it's seven stitches per inch. Ah, uh, seven stitches that means. per inch. All right. The ingredients is Lincoln lamb's wool. That's one. Okay. Romney, mm -hmm. Targi, and Rambouillet. <laughs> Okay. And she called it pesto, and it is. It's like a, a fresh, bright green right out of the garden. Oh, well. Like you're making a pesto right out of your garden. Yes. Mm. Which pesto is yummy. I love pesto. Yes. I'm not going to eat this now. <laughs> I'm going to eat this. <laughs> that is, does look like pesto. Doesn't smell like basil. Mm. Gloria Patre sent us these fun little buttons and stitch markers. Chocolate mint candy. Yum, yum. Yummy. These little buttons are green with white polka dots. I almost said white with green polka dots, but that's just because I'm backwards sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that's because I'm backwards. And then look at these little stitch markers. They're like a little glass leaf. They're so pretty. And you can't, this video doesn't even do them justice because they're so sparkly in real life, huh, kid? Oh, yeah. Look at gorgeous. That. And the little Ooh. mint, and then the bright one. I was going to say, they're different colors. I know. I like that. that. And these are green as well. Yes. They're different like greens. Teardrops with amber nodules. Hmm. They're leaves. Leaves. They're leaves. <laughs> this bright, sparky, sparkly, not sparky, <laughs> but sparkly beautiful thing. Could be sparky. Is from Mama's Llama and Alpacas. We love the greens in here, but we also love this amazing holographic Angelina that sparkles like crazy. I think that's my favorite one so far, because of the Angelina. This is a kettle dyed, ultra fine merino, alpaca, and of course, sparkle, Angelina sparkle. Mama's llama and alpacas is responsible for this beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. I love the Angelina. I love the yellow. Yes. It's like a yellow green, it's still green. Super bright. Super bright. This month, Star Knits sent us these really fun little key fobs that she made. She makes pa um, project bags and stitch markers, fabric baskets. I have one of her fabric baskets on my spinning, one of my spinning wheels, Ooh. and I really love her work. So this is what she did so that she could have a sample in our box, and I think they're really quite fun and beautiful. I like the green. It's I like know. a little bit dark, but it's also light. Super bright. Super, I love super it. Super bright summer green. On the back. It's not just for holding one big piece of yarn? No. It's for your wrist. Oh. <laughs> yes. And you can put your keys on there. Mmm. Feels so fabby. I feel fabulous. <laughs> you look fabulous. Thank you. Mm. So last month, Willow Fairy Wool sent us a colorway called Lush, and this month she sent some more of those, and then she sent one she calls Dark Lush, 
which has alpaca, BFL, merino, and silk. So this one is a darker version of last month's and is so beautiful. I love these dark, dark greens. There's almost a blue through here. There's a bright little pop of color inside. I think this would be a blast to spin. Ooh, it's very pretty. It's really soft too. Ooh, that is soft. Dark, <laughs> lush, it's been drinking. Grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. It's been drinking grasshoppers. It's not easy being green to spend each day the color of the leaves when I think it would be nicer being red or yellow or gold or something much more colorful like that. I like the green base too. The green base? The, the whole green. Not the table. No. <laughs> the green base on the fiber. Ah! Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>